Welcome to evening prayer, April 1st on Wednesday. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, Father and to, to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness, brightness of the ever-living ever Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, Christ holy, holy and blessed, blessed now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalms as we sit are Psalms 128, 129, and 130. And we will say the Psalms in unison. Happy are they all who fear the Lord and, and who follow in his ways. ways. You, you shall, shall eat the fruit of your labor. Happiness, Happiness and prosperity shall be yours. Your, your wife, wife shall be, be like, like the fruitful vine within your house. house. Your, your children, children like olive shoots around about your table. The man, man who fears the Lord shall, shall thus indeed be blessed. The Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. May peace be upon Israel. Greatly have they oppressed me since my youth. Let, Let Israel, Israel now say, Greatly, greatly have, have they oppressed me since my youth, youth but they, they have not prevailed, prevailed against me. The plowman plowed upon my back and made their furrows long. The Lord, the righteous one, has cut, has cut the cords of the wicked. Let them be put to shame and thrown back. All those who are enemies of Zion, let them be like grass upon the housetops which withers before it can be plucked, which does not fill the hand of the reaper, nor the bosom of him who binds the sheaves, so that those who go by us say not so much as the Lord prosper you. We wish you well in the name of the Lord. Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to know what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits for him, and his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchmen for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, with him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. A reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. But thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession, and through us speaks in every place the fragrance that comes from knowing him. For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To the one, a fragrance from death to death. To the other, a fragrance from life to life. Who is sufficient for these things? For we are not peddlers of God's word like so many, but in Christ we speak as persons of sincerity, as persons sent from God and standing in his presence. Are we beginning to commend ourselves again? 
Surely we do not need, as some do, letters of recommendation to you or from you, do we? You yourselves are our letter, written on our hearts to be known and read by all. And you show that you are a letter of Christ, prepared by us, written not so much with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. Such is the confidence that we have through Christ toward God. Not that we are competent of ourselves to claim anything as coming from us, but our competence is from God, who has made us competent to be ministers of a new covenant. Not of letter, but of spirit, for the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. Here ends the reading. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. I, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Son, our Lord. He was, was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Mary. He, he suffered, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was, was crucified, died, died and was buried. He, he descended to the dead. dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended, ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. He will, he will come, come again, again to judge the living and the dead. And the dead. I, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, Church the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the ways of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, you alone can bring into order the unruly wills and affections of sinners. Grant your people grace to love what you command and desire what you promise, that among the swift and very changes of the world, our hearts may surely there be fixed where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, 
Let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you. All tongues confess and bless you. And men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your own prayers and intercessions at this time. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and the age to come, life everlasting. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 